Bonjour French ladies, it's Marianne. Are you overeating during lockdown, during confinement? Or are you snacking throughout the day? Well, stay with me because in this video I will give you tips and techniques to help you on how you can stop yourself from overeating and snacking. So if you have noticed that you have been eating more than usual, you may have noticed a little increase in your weight, maybe the weight is creeping up. And you know, if you don't do anything about it, it will get worse. And at the end of the lockdown, you may need even a wardrobe to size up. So what can you do about it? So I will give you in this video six techniques to help you to stop this overeating and this snacking. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe, click on the little bell in order to receive the notifications and please like and share this video. Thank you very much. The most important technique I am going to give you right now and one that is very good for you, very good for your health and one that always, always works and helps you is drink water. So. Drink water first thing in the morning. Have a big glass of water before breakfast, about 20 minutes to half an hour. And even better, if you can, squeeze a half um, a lemon into it, even better, okay? Before every meal, again, drink a full glass of water, 20 minutes to half an hour. So what does it do? Really, this water fills up your stomach so that you don't eat as much and hopefully you, know, you will stop before you are full. Throughout the day, you drink water. So many times we think we're hungry, but really we are thirsty instead. So have a, have a big glass of water and see how you feel. Do you still feel hungry in 10, 15 minutes afterwards? So if you are still hungry after that, that's fine, you can eat. But if you are not hungry, you see, you will realize that really you could have eaten when there was no need, when really all you needed, all your body was telling you you needed was water. You see, when we are dehydrated, we may feel that we are hungry. So think about water. It's easy to forget as well about drinking, you know, drinking before your meal, but drinking throughout the day. Of course, it is easy to forget to drink water throughout the day especially for those people who are not used to doing so. So uh, an easy tip is to, you know, write post-its about, um, you know, drink a glass of water, drink water, or just water, and, you know, place those, stick them, you know, around you in, in the house to remind you to drink more water. So again, water before each meal, water during the meal, water throughout the day, okay? Drink more water. If you drink more water, you will fill your stomach and therefore there will be less room for food. Please let me know in the comments below if you are not drinking enough water during the day, if you forget to drink during the day and you know, um, if you are not used to drinking all that water, please let me know in the comments below. My next tip is use a smaller plate. Look at the difference in sizes in these plates. This is the biggest one, and this is the smallest one. If you are used to filling your plate, and if you are used to eating from a big plate, you have a large portion. And especially if you are used to finish the whole portion on your plate, you will eat a large portion. Okay? So if you are used to eating everything on your plate, it is in your interest to eat from a smaller plate okay so that you eat a smaller portion and of course smaller portions at the meal you know mean means that you are eating less food okay it is a simple technique but technique that works in france we eat from small plates i have been to other countries for instance britain and america and you know, the plates and the portions are very big and in france you know they, they seem to be like almost half that portion so imagine over the week, over the month, and over the year, the difference in 
portion, if you can halve your portions, imagine, you know, um, the difference it will make to, to your weight, to how much food you are eating. So think about that, you know, uh, have a look in your, for the size of your plates, measure them if you like, and choose some smaller plates. You don't have to go and buy a new plate, but you can if you want to, but choose something that's a little bit smaller. Okay? And it's, you know, it's psychological because you can still have a, a you know, fill in your plate, but because the size is smaller, you will think that you're having a full portion as normal. Okay? And try to get used to that. Please let us know in the comments below, you know, about the size of your plate. Is your plate that you're eating from really large? Will you try to eat from a smaller plate from now on? It doesn't have to be a small, small plate, but a you know, medium one. If you're eating from a medium one, but you think you're still overeating, try to eat from a, maybe a desert plate. A desert plate? Dessert plate. And if you are eating from a medium plate, you can try to eat from a smaller plate if you think that your portions are still too big for you. Now, for our third technique, it is don't pile food on the plate, okay? So don't cheat because you may want to make up for the fact that your plate is smaller and so you want to pile your food up. But don't cheat, you know, just keep to the normal portion. Just fill the plate if you like, but no more than this. Not along the edge and not in height. If you want to gain a better relationship with food, if you want to learn how the French eat, you know, in a smaller portion and all the techniques that we apply, not just one or two, not just six that I'm giving you, but many more. And how to learn more about this French no diet diet. Please look below for more details about my Eat Like a French Woman program. Now, our fourth technique is eat slowly. No shoveling food really fast in your mouth. Eat slowly, okay? So with a fork, after each mouthful, you place your fork and your knife back on the plate and you chew slowly. You enjoy the food that you are eating. You taste your food, okay? So, so that you eat slowly. And there is a reason for that, is that if you eat slowly, you will take more time. And because you take more time, you will receive the message from your brain uh, you know, that your stomach is full. And it takes about a good 20 minutes after you are full to receive that message. So you see, if you eat really fast, you will way overeat. So by eating slowly, hopefully, you know, you will stop uh, before the end, before you are over full. And really the aim is to stop eating when we are kind of mid full. Not really when we are about to explode from our trousers, from our you know, button is about to burst open, um, you know, to pop off. You know, you have to, to train yourself to feel and to, um, to listen to your body. When your body is trying to tell you, oh, stop eating, I'm really too full. So try to eat slowly. Do you have a problem? Do you have a problem with eating slowly? Do you find you're eating too fast? Please let us know in the comments below. How are you finding this technique so far? Do you find them easy to apply? Are you already applying one or two or have you tried to apply them but you know with no result? And let us know below. Our fifth technique is very much something that works with the fourth technique I was telling you about the eating slowly and also the next one we're going to talk about in a minute. So eating mindfully. Okay, what does that mean really? As I was mentioning below, you know, with the eating slowly, think about every mouthful. So it is really what it is about eating mindfully. Just think about every morsel that you eat. Okay? Because not just at your meal, but also throughout the day. So think about the food that you eat so that you enjoy the food and that's so that you don't overeat. So that, for instance, you know, we can just eat mindlessly for the television or, or because we are bored, okay? But if you start eating mindfully, every time you eat, just 
realize that you are eating okay so that you know you make yourself eat slowly or you make yourself stop when you are full and this takes us to the number six you know the sixth technique which is you know the stacking you need to stop stacking and the eating mindfully will think about that what are you doing maria you are bored so what do you do you go into the cupboard or into the larder and you pick the biscuit tin or a packet of crisps okay but if you train yourself to eat mindfully to really think about the food that you eat you will be you know realizing that you actually you are not eating but you are snacking you know this the snacking out of boredom the snacking because you know oh you want to fail to feel better you are feeling you know um not you're feeling unhappy during this confinement during this lockdown and eating is going to make you feel better this um tablet de chocolat this biscuit this pie whatever it is going to make you feel better so you are snacking you are overeating to feel better so you need to eat mindlessly so that you stop overeating because at the moment is making me making you feel good because you're confined you're bored you you stress and happy and everything but later on once your weight will have crept up you will not feel happy okay you again you will feel unhappy you will feel um guilty by having overeaten you will feel stressed okay uh you will feel you know you won't feel good so at that time your weight will have crept up it will be more difficult to address it okay so this is what we're doing in france you know french women we address the problem before it has crept up too high because when it's the, the the weight has crept up so much it is so much difficult to address it and do something about it and come down to the weight we were before okay so why you know why the problem is not too big address it now okay so drink more water fill your stomach up with water water in the morning before each meal throughout the day you are not hungry you are thirsty remind you of that eat from a smaller plate okay so that you put less on your plate less on your plate less in your stomach okay and less on the on the hips um eat slowly eat mindlessly no snacking okay all this you apply all these techniques now you may want to apply one or two or three but the more technique you apply the more success you're likely to have I have a private community of my students who are students of my Eat Like a Frenchman course. And we, we support each other. We, um, we talk about the problem we're having. We talk about, you know, the, I'm being asked questions. We support each other. Uh, I do live stream about various problems and various, you know, uh, Q and A's and um, various part of this module. There are so many techniques, so many ways there are to, uh, to help you maintain your weight or even lose the weight you know to stop yourself from overeating that's the thing overeating it's not because you know uh, people are always greedy or something it's because a lot of time is through boredom or you know, especially at the moment during confinement so be more mindful be active and you know at the end of the day what you need is some self-control my next video will be on friday and it will be again about um on this topic of eating so i hope you will watch it to be um, quite interesting so please let me know what you think in the comments below and all the problems you are having with you know with overeating generally and the snacking generally but especially during this lockdown during, during this confinement and let me know if this video is going to help you so again please if you enjoyed this video like and especially share it to your many friends and uh, I thank you very much for watching. Please keep safe and well. And I see you in my next video. Au revoir.